Hi babes, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tequila. If you're new and if you're not new, how you doing? How have you been? Thank you for returning. I really appreciate you if you were coming back. I love you very much. Um, so in today's video, we have a chit chat. Get ready with me. Just talked about a couple of things. We ended up ranting about my Instagram and the fact that it's gone. But we do have some other things that I did talk about. I want to say a huge thank you to Ali Crawford for sponsoring this video. This wig right here is from them. I'm absolutely obsessed with the color. I'm obsessed with the way it came out. I did try to do some layers. I think that it looks cute. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really a layers babe. I don't really know what I'm doing. But I do really like the body that the hair has. Let's just get into this chit chat. Apologies if it looks like I've been crying right here. Because anyway, if you, if you watch the vlog, you know what's going on. Um, but this is the wig that we're going to be installing. This really pretty brown colored wig. I don't think I've... Honestly, I don't know if I've ever done brown like this color. But yeah, we're going to put her on. This is from Ali Paro. It is an HD lace, as you can see. The lace is giving rose water. So we're just going to put her on. Um, I'm really excited to style this. I want to put some layers in it and curl it a little bit. And just make it real cute. So we're going to get into some topics. stuff because I was just fast forward that too um to do the cutting and the curling and all that kind of stuff Burp. so let me just get these things I literally just use my um character black stick um and then my hot cam. Alright, so so now what we're gonna do is um I think this left side needs more plucking. I'm also gonna do that off camera. So actually I'm just gonna do these edges really quickly. Um, so I'm gonna take some gel and brush. gonna do like I said I do want to pluck this side some more but I'm gonna do that like later so I just want to trim this hair down to give it some slight layers because that's what I want to do with this um, there are as you can see some slight layers in here but I want them to be a bit more not dramatic but dramatic so. 
I've been on top for a while. That's how I chip it to the moon. Fast car make go boom boom. Take it to the boom boom room. I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mm -hmm. Bought a big paddock with the brand new wrist set. Mm -hmm. Inside new Maybach coupe in the butter jelly. Mm -hmm. I'm sliding in the road, sliding in the lamp, sliding in the bend. Been working on my confidence. And respect, I get a lot of it. I don't ever mean to contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. Don't pour another cup with us. So now I'm getting to curl this hair down to my makeup and then blow to work. All right, let's get into these curls. So while we curl, I'm gonna talk as well because I was gonna wait until we do makeup, but I can talk during this part too. My mood is really low, I'm so sorry. Like this was not supposed to be how I was feeling for this video, but it is how I'm feeling because this is my real life. Um, but anyway, so first thing I wanna talk about, again, if you watch the vlogs, you know what's, what's going on with me, but I am moving to Manchester. I'm not going to the States anymore. Um, I didn't get the scholarships that I needed to go overseas. And so that's not happening anymore. Um, so we're moving to Manchester. I've been looking at apartments. I'm supposed to be planning a trip with my mama and my uncle when they come down for my graduation to go up and see the city and stuff and hopefully view an apartment or two um so that's update number one i'm really really excited um my mother is on board with me going or staying out her and that makes me really happy um I'm really excited to see what comes of me living in England for like, you know, staying in England and moving to a more, you know, not a more, I guess a more social media, more aesthetic. I don't want to say more aesthetic because that's not silly, but like where I live now is very much like for, old, not for old people. I don't want to say it's for old people, but it's just not. It's a very homey kind of city. I don't know how to really describe it. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I did this back in January, but I haven't done it since. So I don't remember what I did when I did it in January. So hopefully it comes out how I want it to. Um, But yeah, this city is just like a bit more like for older people. I feel like it's not really for Young people, there's not much to do here. It's just not, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a it's a older kind of vibe here, right? And I know that Manchester is gonna be a good city for me. You know, doing social media and stuff like that. So that's why I'm really excited to go. I know there's a lot to do, a lot to see, a lot to, you know what I'm saying? the vibes is just going to be giving what I need the vibes to give as somebody who you know wants to do social media YouTube all of this stuff full time am I doing this right? I honestly don't know but that is number one we're not going to America just yet we're going to find a different way to get there um Whatever that ends up looking like, I'm really not sure. But we're gonna find a different way to get to America. But yeah, so that's update number one. Right? Update number two is that I want to, to start, and I still want to start, but because I don't have my Instagram right now, I'm feeling really discouraged about starting. Um, a virtual styling business and the only reason why I'm feeling so discouraged since I don't have my Instagram is because like that's my main way to really talk to you lot like I could talk to you lot on like her you know what I'm saying but like to like I can talk to you lot on Instagram and I can pretend like oh, if I just tell you lot to follow a new Instagram it'll get me back to 37k but it's not it's not and I know that's true so I'm not even gonna pretend like oh 
I'll get it back if I just tell you lot to go follow my new Instagram. No, I'm not making a new Instagram. If I don't get this page back, then I'm just not on Instagram anymore. But um, yeah, I have plans to start a virtual styling business. Um, I've had many people in the last couple of years, honestly, ask me if I do this. Um, and because I'm gonna be moving on to you know real life and having to pay bills and stuff like that while i am getting my footing in terms of doing content full time and all of this stuff i want to child by the time i finish my hair i'm not even gonna need to do a makeup and talk to you but <laughs> i want to tap into some different you know revenue streams and i know that this is something that people have been interested in people have been asking me about what did I just do? I don't know. But, um, so that is another thing. So I'm just working on trying to figure out the logistics for that. Again, I'm kind of like not really wanting to do it right now because my page and not being able to promote it as well as I would like to because I don't have my Instagram. And that's when I've had people act. I mean, I've had people act like one or two people on on her asked me about it but like i've had people dm me about it on instagram and so i felt like doing it over there and promoting it and getting it started via promoting it from you know my page would have really kicked it off but anyway so that's um something else that i'm looking into just trying to figure out the logistics like what's the best way to do that and like you know looking at some other people who do stuff like that and how it is that they you know package themselves and their deals or whatever they have that they have to offer and all that kind of stuff so that's something else that i'm looking into starting a i'm trying to figure out what is the um starting a virtual styling business is a goal of mine um so that's something that i will be doing in the nearish future probably like september october times but it is something that's on the way so be on the lookout for that um and yeah it was most stuff i have it written on i need to go get um i need to go and get my notes because i wrote stuff down so i wouldn't forget what i wanted to talk to you out about in this video hopefully this comes out nice right now I'm not really sure what it's giving I'm not gonna lie this is kind of hard to do I never really know how to like curl it like so that it does like I feel like if I had an actual curler even though I don't know how to use this for real for real I feel like that would like make it come out better but this is why i feel like i need to cut the front a bit shorter but i just feel like it's too long and so it's not doing what i want it to do but i'm gonna leave it like this for now and then i'm going to the last time i had clips i don't know where those clips are they just i really don't want my camera to overheat um okay so what i wanted also wanted to talk about is the gym um people don't be telling you what the gym really be about bro i haven't worked out in like two weeks but like that's just because i'm on a juice cleanse right now um i even need to drink what time is it i haven't had any juice today yeah that's 9 15. but anyway um people don't tell you that the gym takes a lot of work Okay, I've been working, I was working out for a month consistently, eating what I felt to be fairly good. I knew I was in a deficit, not on purpose, but I knew I, I knew I was in a deficit, you know what I'm saying? But I was eating, I wasn't purposely trying to be in one. And like, I'm still fat. The belly is still bellying. I will say that I was seeing a bit of like growth in my booty and that's nice. And it's like, as much as I want that, what I want more than that is a flat stomach. 
and so like i was getting real discouraged because my belly wasn't getting on but the girls is like pilates for that um that pilates is why am i putting this one like this i don't know that pilates is a good thing to do to get rid of belly fat or whatever so once this cleanse is up which is on thursday i'm gonna be back in the gym um so i'm just gonna do gym three times a week for lower body and then i'm gonna do pilates every single day um like just a little pilates class on youtube um on a daily so gym monday wednesday friday and then monday to friday we're gonna do pilates um but yeah no one talks about how honestly difficult it is to be consistent in the gym like people used to ask me when i have my instagram page people used to ask me <laughs> uh, my life's a joke um so kayla like how how do you stay consistent in the gym like how you be you know what i'm saying like and i'm like you just have to and it's hard to continue when you don't see results or you're not or you feel like you're not seeing them as fast as you want to see them and that's kind of why i stopped working out because i just felt like this is a waste of my time even though i know that it's going to take longer than um you know longer than a month to see results but that's also why i try to stay off like fitness tiktok and shit like that because i be seeing people who are posting results and transformations after a month and it's like okay but why that's not me like, what the why is that not me why am i not seeing those kind of results as well you know what i'm saying and i just get irritated but then it's like not everybody's the same tequila you can't compare yourself to somebody else online but i think you just want the quick results because it's just like child i just want this belly going bro i don't give well, nothing else i just want this belly going um but yeah the gym is really not for the week it's really really not for the week and i am excited to finally to like get back in there and work out because i do enjoy working out like don't get me like i really do enjoy being in the gym like i enjoy working out but i just wish that the results will come just a little bit faster that's all but like other than that like <sighs> chill but yeah i wrote down in my notes abundance mindset and i'm trying to really remember what it is i wanted to talk about it essentially like okay y'all know i'm on my spiritual journey you know I'm, I'm i'm working on that and i'm i'm learning about you know the universe and how this universe that we live in actually works and you know scientifically and stuff like that um and i think it was i must have been an abraham hicks something that i watched that talked about abundance mindset and it's just like understanding that like there's more than enough to go around for everybody right and like having a lack mindset is like even things as simple as worry and this is why i have such a problem with not say it i'm not saying such a problem but like right now with me and my instagram why i have such a problem or not a, again not a problem but why it's so difficult sometimes with this whole you know law of attraction and assumption and universe and all of this because it's like oh well Sakila, if you keep your positive keep your vibes high then you'll get what you need or you know what i'm saying what you desire and i desire my fucking instagram back and i'm keeping my vibes high up until literally for the last week i've been keeping my vibes high it's only this week that i've been like breaking because like what the fuck you know what i'm saying and i'm sorry for cursing but like seriously what the fuck but um and like to okay so basically what i'm trying to because i should have wrote notes because i i don't even know what the fuck i really wanted to say about this but um i was reading a book by i can't remember who it was by i think it was conversations with god or conversations with god and um it was talking about how there's only two energies there's only two emotions really and that's fear and love right and so lack comes from a place of fear and then abundance comes from a place of love essentially so basically like when you have a lack mindset or when you don't have an abundance mindset or when you feel like things can't work out for you it's because of some kind of fear whether it's worry doubt anger frustration like all of these things are just manifestations of fear right and if we learn to 
which I'm still trying to learn. And I'm like, is this is this my teachable moment? And that's what I like to think that this is this whole Instagram situation. It must be some kind of fucking teachable moment because I'm trying my hardest to just be like happy go lucky, focus on what you do have to kill and be grateful for what you do have to kill. Um and that's how things grow is when you focus on the good and not the bad and that's how things turn around and work in your favor when you don't focus on the bad shit but like fuck this if i'm being honest like just give me my fucking shit back you know what i want what the fuck is wrong with you and it's like you don't want to get angry but anyway i really don't know what it was that i wanted to say about abundance mindset so i'm kind of upset because i really i really don't know um but just learning to look at life from a place of thankfulness and from a place of knowing that in the same way that there is enough oxygen to breathe there is enough everything for everybody there's enough resources there's enough food there's enough money there's enough love like there's enough of everything everything that you think that you cannot have or that you feel like is so far out of your reach or that you feel like it's just not enough of for you as well um there is more than enough for us all and it's they want us to believe that there is not you know what i'm saying i mean you like even when it comes to like love like i feel like everybody wants it but people have been so damaged and there are so many reasons why people act the way that they do but like there is somebody out there for everybody somebody that will love you and you just have to be open to it right anyway because um, anyway but like it's just understanding that there is there is enough and if you have it doesn't mean that somebody else goes to vote because there is enough like more than enough like this world has taught us or made us to believe that there's not enough for everybody but there is more than enough for everybody and that's the truth like there is more than enough for everybody and like i'm just trying to when it comes to socials and looking at like this girl's getting this deal or this girl's working with this brand and getting paid this and she only has this and how is it possible for her but i can't and it's like it is possible for you but you have to not look at things in a certain way you know what i'm saying you have to have a certain anyway i really don't know what i'm trying to say because again i freaking did not write any notes on um but that was fast and i look fucking flawless I'm sorry if I'm cursing. I curse a lot when I'm like, I curse a lot, period. But because I'm really just like getting through it right now, cursing is making me feel better. But yeah, I'm excited for the next chapter. I'm excited for what's going to happen when I move to this new city. But what I'm not excited about is no Instagram page right now. Like that's really breaking my heart. Like I had a meltdown this morning and I've been trying not to cry about it because I just feel like, what the fuck are you crying up? Sorry, what are you crying about? Like, it's kind of like, it's just Instagram. Anyway, cause I'll cry again if I start thinking about it again. But like, it's not just Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Like this is something that I've built for like six years. Like I've had this page for six years and for it to be able to be taken that easily and for what it is that I've been working on so hard to just be going in an instant. And for, you know what I'm saying? And like, there's nothing that I can do about it. Like, unless I have connects, like that's the only way for me to be able to get it back at this point is if I have somebody that is on the inside that can freaking talk to somebody that works at Instagram, like, you know what I'm saying? And reach out to somebody that works there and just kind of like, hey what's going on with this page because i had i had like um it wasn't brand deals thankfully fuck i had but i had some some content that i was going to be doing for some people like now you know what i'm saying like in this coming now time like i had a picture that had to go up for a brand and i literally emailed them not emailed them sorry dm them on the day that my instagram got removed asking like because they never got back to me about what day they wanted to post and yada 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 and so i had sent them a dm like oh um let me know when you want me to post because i'm ready to post kind of thing and that was literally like an hour before my page got fucking 
got fucking disabled. So, like, that's all I really want to talk about in this video at this point. Only because, like, again, my mind is so f just all, like, that's all that I can. Not even that I can. That's all that my brain wants to think about. Because it's not all that I can think about. I can choose to think other things. And I'm trying so hard to choose to think about other things. But it's just really hard. Like, I, as soon as I wake up, it's the first thing that comes into my head. Like, is... Did I wake up? Has Instagram emailed me while I was sleeping? Do I have an, an email from Instagram? No? My life's a joke. Like, that's that's all that I think. Oh, no, Insta no email from Instagram? Great. Oh, no, this from this? Great. Oh, no, 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 great. Oh, no, great. No, nothing from? Cool. Like, that's really all that I think about is, oh, I tried to log in? Nope, still can't log in. Great. Oh. There's no, I can't do this? Great. Nope. Oh, I can't do this either? Great. Like, that's all that goes in my head. As soon as I open my eyes, it's like, don't go on your phone, Skill. Don't go on your phone. Don't go on your phone. Try to meditate first. And then I try to meditate. And all I'm thinking about is, I want to look and see if I have Instagram, if Instagram's back home, if they've emailed me. And it's just like plaguing my brain. And I hate it. And so I'm really about to delete the app, to be honest. Like, I'm this close to just saying, I can't be on, I can't see it. I don't want to see the app, bro. Like, until Instagram says you've got your page back, I don't want to see it. Like I really, I just can't. Like it's, it's really, like I'm, I'm been soaking in my bed for the last two days, and I don't like being that person. Like truthfully, why does it look so dark? I really don't like being a person that's like sad and stuff like that. So like being sad and stuff like that really pisses me off. Cause like then I end up doing nothing and I'm miserable and. You know what I'm saying? Again, I'm sorry that this is all I'm talking about. I'm so sorry. But like, this is my life right now. And I'm, I tried to act like I'm okay, but I'm not okay. I'm not okay, I'm not okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, I hate being sad because it just makes me unable to do anything. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this today. Like yesterday, I said I was going to go out and take a picture. Um... Or do something, I can't remember. I said I was gonna do something yesterday and all I did was lay in bed and soak because I'm upset. And like I'm I'm obviously I have every right to be upset and I can be upset, but I just don't enjoy staying down, bro. Like I don't wanna just be down, bro. Like I wanna be happy. And right now, I'm not happy. And it's like, oh well happiness is a choice. One hundred percent. But when life is fucking you up like this happiness is not a choice <laughs> like, I'm, and again yes it is i can choose to focus on something else and i've been trying don't think that i'm not trying because you think i want to think about this f bullshit no i don't want to think about this dumbness right now <laughs> it's not what i want to think about is the fact that this shit is fucking more bro no it's the last thing i want to think about i don't think about anything the fuck else but my brain is just like it's a yellow your instagram page it's a yellow Instagram page it's together and so that's all that I'm freaking thinking about is my Instagram page where is it in the abyss incapable of return so but anyway that's really just my life right now that's my life right now moving graduation is literally in it's two days shy of a month from now I don't know what I'm wearing I need to get my outfit together um I have no idea what I want to wear. I literally no idea what I want to wear. Like I look, you don't even want to take pictures. And that might sound silly, but again, like this is such a big milestone, and I can't even share it with whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't care. Yes, I do. I care a lot quite a lot and the thing is when it happened I wasn't upset because I knew what I needed to do to get it back like because this has happened to me before so I'm like cool this happened before I got it back in two days whatever fuck, fuck. but now it's been 11 days and it's still not back but yeah, I need to find out my grand outfit I kind of I might wear a dress, I don't know, I might wear a skirt, I don't know. I really want to wear a corset, so that's why I'm trying to work around that. Um, 
home because I really do want to wear a close the top. I'm gonna finish my face as basically just lips and set my face and then I'm gonna come back to finish that with my hair. Okay, well this isn't really what I wanted, but it's still cute. Um, again, the style that I was trying to do, I haven't done since like the beginning of the year. And I don't even remember how I did it. Again, this is still cute. Then I'm gonna the first one. But yeah, so this is pretty much the finished look, y'all. I'm really, really obsessed with this color. Um, it's gorgeous. But yeah, so this is the end of the video. Um, again, I apologize for my energy. I'm just, you know, getting to each other. So, thank you again to Ali Power for sponsoring this video. This hair, gorgeous. I love this color on me. Chocolate brown. It's giving. I really, really like it. All information on the hair will be linked below as well. Let me know your thoughts on the hair in the comment section below. I'm really obsessed. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you know you're going to be turn on post notifications. Follow me on socials. And I will see you in my next one. Peace out. Girl Scout. Check you later.